citizens of the Reject Nation, welcome to the first Bostonian team up on the Reject Nation. I'm here with the ever lovely, ever effervescent, ever world girly Roxy Stryer. How are you doing? Do you think that's true? We're the first two time Boston people on the show. Two time returning champions. Ooh, some I people mean, are going to love this. Who else would it be? Uh, maybe Jason Tatum. He's in here all the time. Uh, Mark Wahlberg. Ben Affleck pops by. Should we go back and forth with the more just Boston people? Just naming Boston people? Yeah. Mark Wahlberg. I just said that. I came in with Mark Wahlberg. I was We're distracted because I pictured Matt Damon. Oh. And so it threw me because that's why I went Ben Affleck. Sometimes I see Matt when you say Mark. Um, Some other woman. I don't know why when I think of Boston, <laughs> I only come up with men. John Krasinski. BJ Novak. It is a lot of dudes. Yeah. Where are the women? <laughs> Speaking of... Women, this movie might have some, but we don't know that because we haven't seen it. This is our first watch of The Thing, a movie I get a lot of crap about having not seen. Yeah, me too. For a really long time, people have said that this is the best body horror movie and I've never seen it and I'm excited to be able to shut people down now. We're going to watch The Thing. Please do like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment below of which is your favorite Bostonian us hunt roxy down on world girls they got a lot of cool stuff i like that new track suit please do check this out as well over on patreon if you want to watch it front to back sync to sync start to finish with us just watching the whole time that's how you get it here on youtube you can see you know pieces of our experience if you want the entire journey including our resting watching faces like this mm. Mm. that's where you go over to the patreon so hunt us down there and let's watch the thing I actually don't know much John Carpenter work, which is crazy because I know that I do this for a living and he's like the god of this. But it was like just before our time. Like, Are you saying we're young? Yeah. And Obviously. hot. <laughs> the thing. Ooh, it's about aliens? <laughs> I know so little about this movie. Did we put on Star Wars? We did accidentally. John Carpenter's Star Wars. Here's the thing. Hmm. Here's the thing. Okay, UFO stuff. What? Nope, not a UFO. <laughs> Stop I was laughing because I was like, I think that's a helicopter. <laughs> Actually, very UFO, identifiable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, standard issue helicopter. That dog gets hurt, I swear to God. Where's the dog coming from? Don't you do it. <laughs> Don't you do it. Do we never find out the dog's name? Oh my God. Don't love this. Is it? Is it an alien? Peter! <laughs> Peter! <laughs> okay, he's either a very bad shot or that dog is bulletproof. Is he trying to tag him? That's a gun, right? It sounds like bullets. Yeah. <laughs> Those don't sound fun. This is beautiful quality for like an 80s movie. Looks great. He's beautiful quality. I mean, he's for... beautiful. That helps. That I mean, that is the shot I saw. I went beautiful. I don't understand how the agility of a dog has taken out a helicopter and a, a theoretical sharpshooter. I think the dog's the alien. He's the thing. On the dog? Are they gonna gas the dog? <laughs> what is this classic movie? <laughs> don't you gas that dog? Oh my god. Way worse than that. And they missed. How is he the worst I... shot ever? Maybe they're trying to scare the dog so he runs home, so they're trying to follow him. Like I... corral him like a sheep? Yeah, I don't know. Because shooting at him doesn't seem like a good approach. Oh. What's your plan here, man? What, you're gonna blow up the people. Oh, what 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 how do you The oh my god. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> there are human beings. <laughs> he shot just shot a guy. After blowing up your where's After your escape? slipping a grenade. Where are you gonna escape to? After shooting a guy. That's fair. That's, I mean. I want to see the blood in the snow. George, it's got okay? to. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Are you? Yeah, what's going on then? 
He Smart. looks like Rupert Grint. But he does like Night at the Cabin era, Rupert, yeah. like modern Rupert Grint. Whoa, that guy's cool looking. Look at those eyebrows. The brows. Just beautiful work. Anti Eugene Levy. Oh, that exploded, exploded. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gasoline. And grenades. Dude. There were grenades in there. If you guess the name of the dog correctly, I'll give you $100. Uh, you have one, though. Mosby. That's your one? It's not great. <laughs> Obscure is the move. Don't feel proud of that. I think Sparky. Mm, it's going to be one of those movies, isn't it? Four stitches barely grazed you. What were they doing flying that low? Shooting at a dog. At us. Yeah. Good question. It's fair. Cabin fever. Who knows? U.S. number 31 calling McMurdo. Come in. Over. He's a podcaster. <laughs> <laughs> the first. We got to report this mess. Look, I haven't been able to read shit in two weeks. I doubt if anybody's talked to anybody on this entire continent, and you want me to reach somebody. Yes, good recap. That's kind of the point of a radio in yeah. general. I think it's your job, probably. Maybe we had war with Norway. Ooh, key. Greg mentioned Tarantino. I get it now. Can't condone it much myself, but it is a short haul. An hour there, an hour back. Shit, Doc, I'll give you the lift. No problem. Forget it, Palmer. Hey, thanks for thinking about it, though. <laughs> it's quite the sausage fest. It is a lot of dudes. <laughs> the thing is like... That's what it's about. Ten things. Very subtle. This is really ten things I hate about you. <laughs> Start beefing with each other. I can't get over how good his beard is. Yeah, it's really It's good. like an immaculately it's, thick beard. It's really good. You don't want to fly, we don't fly. You really want to save those crazy Swedes, huh? Norwegians. Which way, Doc? Southwest. I'm going to have to read the map because I'm going to be busy. It's kind of crazy how they shot this. I mean, unbelievable looking. Just all the white out. And lighting it must have sucked. sucked. Lighting and snow. And reflection of it all, yeah. This man is in Sons of Anarchy. Bef the prequel. Yeah. Before. I also miss movies being lit so you can actually see everything. Yeah. Like, it's a bright movie, but it's still tense. Okay, there goes the UFO. Oh, look at the UFO. It's crazy. <laughs> I can't identify it at all. No one can tell what it is. What are you, flying object? Knowles, will you turn that crap down? I'm trying to get some sleep. I was shot today. <laughs> we want we do. This must be, the song is the 70s, right? Yeah. I love when movies do that. And don't pretend like their decades the only decade that exists. It drives me insane because yeah, yeah. I don't listen to just today because exactly. today's music sucks. That... that dog's superstitious, you can tell. Those lyrics are poignant here, though. I'm telling you, that's the whole point. If you believe in things that you don't understand, you suffer. Okay, Shadow, what you got? Oh, I think something's off with that dog. Swedish, Theory. We assume the dog is good because dogs are great. No, we don't. You clearly the dog's not good. But that's what I'm saying is that we're going to find them all dead because the dog killed. Because like we as an audience are like, why are you shooting at the dog? But instead it's it's playing an expectation. Yeah. The thing is inside the dog. For that's sure. what, yeah. And it's already gotten these folk. The Norwegian folk. Yeah. The dog through the axe? hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> Stick From with the that. the side of The Shining. Everything was just so bright, and now... It's such a gorgeous set. Yeah. Back. Check it out. This guy froze. Bled some, too. You say bled so? Drew? <laughs> <laughs> Frozen blood icicle? Let's go. That is metal as fudge. Oh, like instantaneously frozen. My God, what the hell happened here? Come on, Doc. Ooh. He could have been Han Solo. Oh, it would have been great. Would have been great. I mean, I love Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford's perfect. I'm just like in this if. era, looking at him, it's like, dang. It would have been different, but wow. totally a vibe. Or indie. Honestly, they've got kind of similar... It's that, like, stoic badass thing. Yeah. 
Like you want to know more, but he won't tell you. Let me dig through your beard for all of your secrets. Wherever you keep your secrets, bearded man. Maybe they found a fossil. The remains of some animal buried in the ice and they chopped it off. But where is it? Look at this. Was that a suitcase or? Kerosene. It said on the thing. Like what? different kind of gasoline. Like oh, a different yep. okay. fuel. That was a company. <laughs> Help me find a shovel, Doc. To bury them? That's kind. Also, frozen ground. That's going to be a bitch. They brought them home. Oh, uh, that'd be kind of... Ugh. Even though frozen, it still smells that bad? Well, it, it's steaming, so I think it's like thawing. So all those smells would be coming out. Keep it outside, man. Blair, I'd like you to start an autopsy right away. This moment is your impression that this is the thing? Right now, I think the thing killed that. Okay. I think the thing is the hunter, not the body. You think this is a human body? I think it was. I think it's like a mutilated remain of a couple bodies. Oh, too... F- yeah, see, like it looks like a... Like a cell dividing? I'm wondering if when this thaws out, it is the thing. And, the and that the monster, it's yeah. like, we're going to see a monstrous two-headed, kind of, multi-limbed thing? I don't, I don't thing. know. I, th- I, I think your theory is... Yeah, I don't trust him. <laughs> Mine's all based on not trusting him. Okay, Spark. I don't trust Mosby. <laughs> he seems sketchy. No drugs, no alcohol, Pork. nothing. Oh, man, the makeup's good in this. I am repulsed. That's why he's in the opening credits. It's so bad. Stop squeezing it so much, my it's dude. It's so viscous. It was it jello? <laughs> Appears to be anyway, a normal set of internal organs. Heart. Get the thing out of your mouth. <laughs> Intestines. Seem to be normal. So it was a dude. There's an eyeball. Yeah, this is like splitting. Why you say dude? I mean, it looks male. That's what men look like to you. From Boston. <laughs> no wonder you're into women. <laughs> that's true. If that's if that's the competition, <laughs> I know which side I fall on. I keep thinking that they're in like a, a submarine. That's what it feels like. It's so isolated. It feels like lost, you know? Mm, yeah. And the, I think the framing's helping that. Like that sense of enclosed spaces yeah. and it's getting tighter. Totally. There's a whole outside, but it feels like that. And the outside does like have a black and white vastness like you talked about. Yeah. So I like when it's inside its color and dense. Did I bite him? I don't trust him. Will you put this mutt with the others where he belongs? What's his name? You just said this mutt. I know, but I said... Somebody's got a name. Ooh. Uh, uh, you saw that? Uh, yeah, I don't know if I trust him. Is he sleeping? What if things gone awry? Or maybe he's good in there. Not what? Why do they have so many dogs out there? I don't think it's companionship. Is there like a like? Would like you a, need them a to herder? scout? Yeah, or something. Are they sled dogs? <laughs> ah. Little Shop of Horrors. That was graphic. Oh. Wait, what? It keeps on furling. Yeah. And now it's got, like, the faculty tentacles. Ugh. It feels like something's inside that like dog ripping, ripping it from, it from Yeah. I think that's the thing. Totally. But can he transform back and forth? or? Oh, or is it just, like, once it's, it's in host. you, then it, yeah, I don't know. Oh. Uh-oh, that guy's dead. I feel like it did this, it was in the other body as the host. And, and now it's moving. Out. Now it's, yeah. I mean, that's fair. It's gonna come through the holes. Wow, he is just so interesting looking. <laughs> like he's striking, but looks like different. It's weird and pissed off, whatever it is. Bennings, go get child. Mac wants the flamethrower. Mac wants the what? That's what he said. Now move. Smart. I like that this movie just knows. Skip the five steps. Yeah. Goes right to the flamethrower. Yeah. 
Come on, Charles. I think it's the first name we've heard. Mac wants the flamethrower. <laughs> Two names. Ooh. Oh, it's like a dog shell. So that's practical what? <laughs> like, what's under <laughs> that? Oh, it's like threading out to get into the next thing. Oh, it's spreading into the other dogs, I think. Yeah. Why is he stop? Why was he stopping him? I think he felt for the dogs, but that dog was dead. God damn. Giles was so slow. Yeah, Giles. I think it's Chiles. Chiles? <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> oh. Correct. I would have let it burn a while. Yeah, I would not have put that out yet. Mm -hmm. oh. Podcaster. He's just got sunglasses at night inside Antarctica. It's like me eating lobster. <laughs> oh, that's why I don't do it. I don't mess with lobster. That's why I got, they kicked me out of Boston. No, Boston work. boy I wasn't mine. welcome anymore. <laughs> they told me to leave. They're like little cockroaches of the ocean. You like clam chowder? Eh. Oh, <laughs> Mexican food's better. That's why I'm out here. I do love Mexican food. And it doesn't look like the thing. When this thing attacked our dogs, it tried to digest them, absorb them in the process, shape its own cells to imitate them. Imitate them, so it's not taking them over. It's trying to be. We got to it before it had time to finish. Finish what? Finish imitating these dogs. So what does that mean, that they got to it before it had time to finish? That he's out there just not full-blown dog? I'm assuming there'll be some sort of humanoid at yeah. some point. How long were you alone with that dog? I don't know, an hour, hour and a half, maybe. What the hell are you looking at me like yeah, that? What are you getting at? It's nothing at all. Do you think he's going to imitate him? Or? Yeah, I think he's wondering how long it would take. What's that? It looks like something buried under the ice. A helicopter. <laughs> UFO. Remember we did start in space. Mm-hmm. Here. This is it. The place where they're spending most of their time. Pretty nasty out, Mac. 35 knots. Screw it. I'm going to go up anyway. Knots, a Nautical term? Yeah. Half a mile, do we? That hat is majestic. This has to be an, a UFO sitch, right? Oh, it has to be. We met one at the top. Oh, that's cool. It's a painting they just stood in front of. I feel like one of you should stay up there. At least. Okay, good. I think is one is. Is he going to stay? Yeah. It felt like all three of them were about to go down. Let's look and see what happens. Yeah. Jesus, how long you figure this has been in the ice? I'd say the ice that's buried in is 100,000 years old, at least. So it's thawing out the aliens. 100,000? Okay, we are going back. Was that where they buried, dude? Maybe that's where they he got out? Thousands of years ago, it crashes, and this thing gets thrown out. Or crawls out and it ends up freezing in the ice. I just cannot believe any of this voodoo bullshit. He's so young. Uh, he's got a great voice. He works all the time now. Well, this is, I guess, in this assimilation, if they are correct about it. Well, assimilate likes to take over, right? So, like, it's saying that it has assimilated. I thought this was the assimilation of what they think is happening, no? I think no, the that's word you're simulation. Of. <laughs> <laughs> Can't burn the find of the century. That's going to win somebody the Nobel Prize. Okay. I don't trust it. Because when they rushed out to meet the helicopter, it felt like there was like 20 of them. But yes. now I don't know. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. You uh, got the keys. I didn't trust it. There's something wrong with Blair. He's locked himself in his room and he won't answer the door. He needs to be alone and in close proximity with a life form to be absorbed. Oh. So is Blair cracking up or what? It's in Blair. That was cool. I like the sound. I gotta get some sleep. 
Kind of rooting for this guy to die. I mean, I don't like him. You run, right? At minimum. Yeah. At minimum. It's Bennings. That's all you had to say. <laughs> he did run. I thought he ran towards the guy, and I was like, bro. He was right there, Mac. I swear to God, it had a hold of him. What are they doing out here in the first place? I think they're scientists. Yeah, but they have army vehicles. That's a good point. So that's my way to get there. Ooh, it is gross. Whoa. Up. Yeah. He's going to light him on fire. Got to. They've shown that works. Yeah. Yep. yep. Just don't put it out, guys. Yeah, I know Bennings. I've known him for 10 years. He's my friend. You gotta burn the rest of them. Is it only 10? But, like, I don't know. I wish we knew. This movie d does not care if you like its characters, know its characters. It it's really about the gore, yeah, yeah. like the horror of it. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we don't even know what they're sciencing. <laughs> So they have to burn the rest of them because if it, if the organism stays... Any cells, yeah. it seems like they can divide. Yeah. Not the storehouse, the lab, there is nothing left. They got to go find the original guy that was with the dog who locked himself in the room that they questioned. Yes. Oh, and the chef. I can't find Blair. Can't find Blair, okay. Blair. Blair. Windows is in the radio room still trying to get through. Everyone else is in the rec room. You go on, I'll be in in a minute. Don't do that. Don't trust him. We gotta go find Blair, because Blair's obviously been infected. Yeah, Blair's gonna be our first human one, I think. Like, fully formed. It can be in multiple places at multiple times. That's why I think it's too. spread yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Right? Nobody gets in and out of here. Nobody! Podcaster got messed up. Go around to the math room door. Talk to him. So he's going crazy because he's been slightly infected by this thing? I assume he's not an imitation because I don't think it could replicate this level, but maybe? That thing wanted to be ah! Still gets out. Like, why is he doing this? Because he's going crazy? I'm guessing? Come on, man. You don't want to hurt anybody. I think he does. Does he know podcasters in the room? I don't think so. I think it would have killed him. Yeah. Ooh. Cool. Really cool. Good use of table. Yeah. That's why you asked for the table. <laughs> <laughs> to ram them. Damn. Ooh. Great Foley work. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Dum, 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 boom. What about your shack, McCree? I want him in my shack. We'll lock him in the tool shed. Are they carrying the doctor or? I think, I think the doctor Blair. <laughs> What kind of drugs just stupefy you? What happened? I think they're going to like exorcism it out of him. Like, is he crazy? Or possessed? Might have nothing to do with the guy. Remember at the beginning they were like, you can go crazy down here. If you... Which I imagine happens a lot. So probably that, maybe he was just paranoid. Tell you what, why don't you just trust in the Lord? <laughs> Works out great. See how that goes for you. Watch Clark and watch him close. Who's do you Clark? hear me? Watch him. The dog guy? Is his name Clark? Because he was around for an hour and a half? Clark's the one who locked himself in the room? I think so. I thought he had locked himself in a room. <laughs> Everyone that's seen this movie is judging us so hard. I know, Because they're like, they that, should know this. Here's the truth. It doesn't matter. I'm. It's, this movie's awesome. Oh, it's riveting. There's no plot. Like, there, it's not a full plot movie, and you don't know the characters. It's an experience movie. Yeah. How do we know who's human? If I was an imitation, how would you know if it was really me? Now we're at Agatha Christie. Yeah. Love this. Possibly have been thinking about a blood serum test. It could take a sample of each person's blood. Could mix it with uncontaminated blood. Because if there's a reaction, we'd know who isn't human. Classic. We've got whole blood in storage. We can start working on it. Keep an eye on Clark. He was close to that dog. Yeah, that must be Clark. Clark. We've got like half the names now. You think Clark's a red herring? I think so. 
and knows what this organism is too far gone, of. Fuse. But get the rest of his notebooks. And start going through them. But is he far gone because of the space madness or like yeah. alien madness? I think it's the space madness. Because like I'd go crazy there, and then the stimuli, the alien, like gushy. Gary, hey you guys, come here! Oh shit! Drain the blood, bro. Somebody got to the blood. What? Where's Clark? Right here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Was this broken into? No, the lock is on. I feel like the doctor's the one then. 100%. Who's got access to it? Yep. Who else could he use that key? I just give it to Copper whenever he needs it. Could anybody have gotten it from you, Doc? I don't see how. As soon as I'm finished, I return it right away. It's got a nose ring. I told you, the nose ring guy. Just missed it. But it's Copper's the only one who's got any business with it. Oh, now, wait a minute, Gary. You've been in here on several occasions. Why would he come no, here to it? No, we no. don't. Podcast guy? No, I think he's I think just, he's just scared. Yeah, me too. I would be too. Yep. Put it down, Gary. You don't want to hurt anybody. Right. On the floor. Now I don't want him to die. Yeah, suddenly endearing. Because I'm him. He took off the glasses. Yeah, now he's not such a D. Is he going to shoot him? Is he? Okay. I love this because you don't know. Place your bets. Red herring, dog guy. Giles is fine. One of the other three. Could it be Kurt? He's too big a movie star. Like he's destroying all the evidence to like seem like he got it. There's so many of them. They're growing. <laughs> Thing doesn't want to show itself. It wants to hide inside an imitation. If it takes us over, then it has no more enemies. Nobody left to kill it. And then it's one. This is awesome. So glad I knew nothing about this. Yeah, me too. There's a storm hitting us in six hours. We're going to find out who's who. <laughs> yeah, let, let, me, let me know what you're going to break the needle in my No, Doc. He's doing a real fine job. Okay. I knew they were going to do that. Uh-huh. One other thing. Rips through your clothes when it takes you over. Windows found some shredded long johns, but the name tag was missing. Hmm. Nobody trusts anybody now. Make everybody take their pants off. That's the trick. You should the go last in. line hit hard. You should go back into the other room. Everybody, get naked <laughs> right now. Let me see your name tags. Drop trial. Who cut holes in their pants? RJ McCready, helicopter pilot, U.S. Outpost, North 31. Helicopter pilot, U.S. Outpost. outpost. Is it like a protection, like a defense for America? In like, Antarctica? What are we protected <laughs> from? I don't understand your job, sir. And everyone should prepare their own meals. And I suggest we only eat out of cans. It'd be really weird if you were it and suggested that, but... I wouldn't surprise me. This has been very, like, good at twisties. Any of them move, you fry them. You hear anything. Anything at all, you cut loose on the sirens. We all meet back here in 20 minutes regardless. Real close. They roped up dog guy. Definitely a red herring, though. I feel like he's good. How many of them do you think are not okay? I'd say two or three. Yeah. At this point. Wouldn't it be crazy if they're all fine? They killed them all in the first act. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute, man. They're not going to address it? I'm all right. I'm much better. And I won't harm anybody. And you've got to let me come back inside. You saw what I saw, right? Yeah. There was a news between the two of them, <laughs> and it was hanging, dangling, like... We better start closing off the outside doors. He might be. Yeah, his innocent face. And I don't they, trust it. And they first offered him to be the guy. Oh, the leader, yeah. He was stashed in his own oil furnace. Wind must have dislodged it, but I don't think he saw me fight. I cut him loose. He's one of them. When do you think it got to him? I don't know. So that's Mac? Yeah, which is Russell. So he must be. Because he, yeah. Like he and got his clothes. His own, and, yeah. Let's open it. You think he's changed into one of those things? Why are you so damn like just That's let him in? Hit a guideline and cut it loose. Anyone messes with me and the whole camp goes. Put those torches on the floor and back off. Badass move. Yeah. BA move. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> ba move. Not breathing. What happened? 
Oh. Sweet Archer, but. Oh. Clear. Clear. Oh. Oh. Okay, I guessed correctly that he had it in inside him. Ugh. Oh, God. <laughs> Unbelievable looking. Incredible work. Oh. That's so cool. <laughs> yes. Do they not see the head? I don't think this. I think it's under a chair or something. <laughs> Those are like things coming out of his. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's tradition for alien things. Oh, look at it. Is this guy? None of you see it scamper off. Okay, okay good. Okay, somebody okay. did. Roger does. Fucking kidding. Roger's on it. <laughs> All right, you're getting a little flamethrower happy. I, I do worry there's an entire building you're in. Everybody down real tight. What for? For your health. Come on, let's rush him. He's not going to blow us all up. <laughs> he would. Also, he just blew up the other guy. Why would it be him? That's close enough, Clark. He ain't tying me up. Then I'll have to kill you, child. Then kill me. He does look familiar to me. You've seen Requiem for a Dream? Yeah. The bad guy? The... I, th I think I've seen it. <laughs> He's a lot of stuff. He's really, really talented. I guess you do. Oh! But I don't think he had the thing in nope. him. Nope. Just, just, dude. We're gonna find out who's the thing. Wash the knife, bro. Mm -hmm. oh, it's not washing it. Denim's very sanitary. But like, if you, like the the organism might. Oh. Podcaster's name is Windows. Which is very <laughs> 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 you should have switched to Mac. Should have. Would have gone better for you. Mac and Windows. Soothsaying. This new before. Wow. Mac and Windows. <laughs> I'm a Mac and I'm a PC. <laughs> one's cool, one's nerdy. It's all right there. His face. Oh, yeah. I, you also didn't see him stab him. Like, he could have maybe. I don't know. That's a clever test, though. Was this I'll show you what I already know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, Clark. Which one was Clark? The other one who's dead, right? Yeah, I think on the right. Yeah. And Clark was human, huh? Which makes you a murderer, don't it? I mean, he swung at him and his instincts don't like Oh, Palmer. You were the only one that could have got to that blood. Cool. Oh. Why is Windows just Just standing? hanging out. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Palmer was really incognito for a minute. That's Ooh, what happened. Yep. Oh. What's up with your flamethrower, bro? It's very unreliable. I don't know that you can get more fire. It's pretty on fire. <laughs> what a stunt. It's going to be real cold inside now. Yep. Now the organisms are everywhere. <laughs> Just breathe it in. Just keep breathing it in. 
His window's infected? Is he just gross? That's safety. Uh, I guess I mean, it he got eight. There go the board games. What are we going to do? We know oh, that. Oh, okay, so he's still testing. No, it's Niles. Niles. <laughs> Niles. <laughs> We're learning the names like third act. What are Childs? It is Childs. Wait, now it's Na Niles. Niles. Niles and, and Childs. Childs. Uh, I thought it was Childs. I thought it was like Giles. I don't remember what I thought it was originally. Now. How would they play this on TV? I remember, like, this was on, like, TNT when we were kids. Oh, stuff. really? Like, what how, What do you show? We're going out to give Blair the test. If he tries to make it back here and we're not with him. I don't know who the him <laughs> is. Okay. Just Why four of them left? So it's Childs, Nowell. Nowell. <laughs> Mac, Mac. And the eyebrows. eyebrows. <laughs> okay. I don't know if we've gotten eyebrows' his name yet. <laughs> no, we just did. Oh, what was it? I don't know. Okay. It was in the Petri dish. But his hand was over it. <sighs> Gary? 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 <laughs> There's a Gary? I think it was Gary. So we gotta test you last, Gary. Oh, that sounds okay. But he's still not addressing Why we? And he's out. He escaped. But also, he's, his shoulder's out in noose. He's in there? Did he, like, burrow out? I, okay, nope. I wouldn't. Not, nope. Why is there like a How many days did you guys leave him? <laughs> is that a spaceship? Blair's been busy out here all by himself. How long was he out there? <laughs> what? He stole the parts from the helicopter. Smart SOB, put it together piece by piece. Where was he trying to go? Space. Any place but here. Okay, that's the first How part of the movie that actually doesn't make full sense. Because, like... Somebody explain that. If that was, like, two days, and they wouldn't have just put him... I don't... So maybe he'd been working on it for a lot longer. That's what he does. But then the they accidentally put him in that, in that thing. building above it? Yeah, maybe. Also casually trying to build a spacecraft <laughs> with the helicopter parts. And how do you get, like, the to tool the equipment under yeah. there? There was like so, somebody at home understood that, mm -hmm. and we we missed. Something. There was something because yeah, we were joking about yeah, names. Yeah, 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 yeah. So somebody let us know how did he do that while we were Giles and Miles and Niles and Now Niles. <laughs> Whether we make it or not, we can't let that thing freeze again. Maybe we'll just warm things up a little around here. We're not getting out of here alive. ADR moment. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to their faces. We need this <laughs> plot point. <laughs> They did a focus group. Did you guys understand that they were not going to get out of there alive? Throw it in. We should say it <laughs> directly. Someone should have explained his ship to us. How did he build it? We need lines. Yeah, that part, that's the Completely only thing so far. Completely flabbergasted. Yeah, yeah. Going to blow up the caterpillar in there? So they're trying to heat things up so that this thing can't freeze. Wherever hibernate. it is. They don't know where it is. Do you think that there is a rescue team that's going to come and somebody's going to get out alive? I, I'm thinking it's going to be pretty nihilistic and they all die. Yeah. But also the alien could just wander into the cold and, and hibernate, right? I was thinking that. like, it, it, can't He just deuces. <laughs> like why? It's not stuck there. Maybe he's lonely. He just wants to be home with his friends. Generator room. Because I think we only have about like 10 or 15 minutes left in this. See, I can't tell if it's like a, a denouement or if the third act's going to end like yeah, yeah, at a yeah. peak. Some of this is so built out. Like mm -hmm. We also have never really gotten a sense of setting. Yeah. Which works for the mystery. I've just realized we haven't been anywhere like this yet. Yeah. This looks so cold to film. Yeah. I was like they look about that. freezing. Generator's gone. Generator's gone. 
It's gone, my crazy. <laughs> yeah, how, do you, yeah. how do you fix that? We gotta bring this whole place right down into the ice. Gary, plant yours in the old storage room. No, down by the generator. No. No. You think he makes it out? No. <laughs> that was no, not now. <laughs> Just no. No. Mm. No. So Ooh. now they all trust each other, but they can't trust a third of them now. It's and Rod. he knows to do that. It's Roger, do. the one with the, or whatever his name was. Gary. You know, <laughs> Roger, Gary, Nalls? No, it's not Nalls. Todd. No, <laughs> Todd was at the beginning of the name that we read. <laughs> in, the, in the credits, a real, a real person. <laughs> so the guy who was shooting, the doctor, he was crazy the whole time. He was infected the whole time. Yeah. And he was building a thing. So I'm wondering if like he was infected before the movie started. To me, that's what makes no, the sense on why it. he was able to build it that whole time because he's an alien creature, you know. It's but not... the dog brought it, didn't it? Or was it already there? Because <laughs> if the dog brought it, it's still only like a week. Yeah, but he alien moved fast. He's the Flash. That's true. That's true. Quick aliens. That thing with the face with the holes was maybe that was the so best intense. shot in the whole thing. Yeah. And they dragged him away by his own face. Like putting your fingers in somebody's so cool. Okay. Maybe he doesn't want to leave yet thing because he wants them all to die first. Oh maybe. Oh, we're going full like Lovecraftian. There that goes. Weird time to do a somersault. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta look cool. It looks so non CG, so real, which is so beautiful. It's so to nice see. to yeah. see an explosion. <laughs> it was like, that was like. We built this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they blew up a chunk of Antarctica for us. Yeah, yeah. Where do you think they shot this? Maybe there. They look cold. That there's, would be nuts. There's space. I feel like maybe Alaska. Alaska. <laughs> Alaska. <laughs> Every so often you get a little accent. <laughs> oh. How did he survive that? I don't know, but when he started walking away, I knew that the movie was going to make him survive it because... He had a great last line, that's why. Fire's got the temperature up all over the camp. Won't last long, though. If we've got any surprises for each other, I don't think we're in much shape to do anything about it. <laughs> what do we do? Wait here for a little while. See what happens. Uh, seems like a non-plan. <laughs> like dying. Yeah. Cool. I was kind of hoping they would do that. I like that a lot. I like the the nihilistic ending. Okay, let's get everybody's name. Okay, McGreedy. Uh huh. That was Wilford Brimley as Blair, a name that we missed complete. Okay. Nalls. <laughs> T.K. Carter. Palmer. I think we said once. David Glennon. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know which one. That was. Keith David's David his name. As Childs. Childs. Keith David's an excellent actor. They didn't say Childs one time. Nope, don't think so. Dr. Cooper. Dr. Copper. Copper, Copper, Copper. Sorry. Norris. We might have said in the beginning. I don't think. Don't think I said Bennings. Peter Maloney. Which one was Bennings? Clark. Gary. I know why I threw a Gary in there. At least once a Gary was said. Fuchs. And Windows. windows. We knew Windows. The other Tom Waits. Wait, which one was podcast? He was Windows, windows. right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not a PC. Norwegian, yeah. There, wow, there was very few actors in oh, this yeah. movie. Oh, yeah, it's just the people yeah. we like, lived with. It's like with. a bottle movie, almost. Well, because it was like one set, which yeah. was cool, which is why I think they blew it up. Oh, stunned people, y'all. Ten of them. Thanks, guys. That's great. That's incredible. Like, this is most of the credits. That's in, like that's it. Yeah. That's what it takes to make a movie. Based on the story, like, who goes there? Did you know that? No. I wonder if it's like an alien paranoid thriller and they just movied it up. I like who goes there as a title, but the thing has just got so much power yeah. to it. Pop. It's lasted, what, 40 years? Like, the thing is still one of those classic yeah. titles. And the font and everything. 
I had this moment a few times in the movie where I kept thinking like this feels like a classic movie. Like when yeah, you're watching it, you you're like, oh, this is important. It was so simple. Yeah. Um, and just like unbelievably executed. Like you know when you rewatch movies from your childhood, like Predator or Alien or any of the movies that we actually did see. Yeah. And they feel like nostalgic. Yeah. This felt nostalgic the first time. Like there was elements. Of I know like, what you mean, where you're just like, oh, th- like that makes sense that this has withstood the test of time. Yeah, like it just it, it hold it holds up, I guess. There's like a built-in importance because it's like so meticulous, the, but also freeing. It was not until we got to the like who done it aspect of it, not even who or who is it. Yeah, that I was like, I see what why this is the thing. Yeah. The first act, I was like, "Oh, it's a cool creature feature." Totally, and and the because of the costume, because of the design, because of all that, I was like, "Oh, okay, this is a this is a classic." Yeah. But then when we got to the actual premise, when we got to like what where what we're supposed to be guessing, feeling, thinking, yeah. then I was like, "Oh, that's why this this that's why this is still watched, still talked about." And I'd seen some of the design, like some of those gifts are iconic, like the yeah. things exploding and the guy's head coming off the shoulder, like that. But I still never knew anything, which is cool. Like, we got to watch this fresh 40 years later. It it didn't feel like... Uh, it, it is a horror movie, but it didn't feel so scary it, because it felt real. It felt yeah. like, oh, this is how I would be feeling if I was there. No one did stupid stuff. Yeah. Like, no one ran upstairs, so to I speak. Mean, there was a couple of times where we were like, don't do that, don't go down there. Yeah, but and overall... I still like, am a little unclear on how he built that space. No idea. I have, I'm going to ask everyone immediately after this. It's fine, though. That's fine. It was still... I mean, it allowed a ticking time bomb. Like, yeah. you need that incident in the third act. Yeah. But it definitely felt like we needed it, not that it made sense. Yeah, definitely. How do you feel about the fact that we don't know any of the characters? I think I would be bothered by it if it wasn't for the level of suspense we still felt. Yeah. Like, you and I were still riveted without the names. Totally. And so, usually like, you're not watching something having to repeat the name. You just don't know. And then you see it and you're like, oh, that's who right. Barry was. You know? And I prefer this to those scenes where it's like, hello, Tom, how are you today? Yeah, and yeah. you're like, wow. Yeah, there was very little exposition in this, honestly. And there was very little, like... I knew no one. Yeah, they didn't care if you did. And I think that is a unique sense of tension because you have to like them or not immediately. And like then like Windows grew on us and stuff. Yeah. Podcast boy. Podcast. Yeah. Windows was uh, interesting. And then the other part that the other guy that was interesting was the guy that dies right before Windows where we shot him. Right. And, and then and we, we find out he's human. And we both thought he was a red herring. But I like that they kept manipulating that by having him tied up. And we were like, OK, are they doubling down? Yeah. Yeah. Completely. And I really liked Childs the whole time. But I liked that. We were supposed to be suspicious, but I, I couldn't tell if that's because I know the actors work. And I don't think it's a surprise that Childs and Mac are the two at the end, too, because Childs is the only one who, even though we didn't know his name, he's the only one who we knew. Right. And he seemed capable the whole time. Yeah. Which I like that they, everyone that like survived were the ones that you could hope in the beginning would. Is your interpretation at the end that the one of the two of them has the thing in them? My interpretation is that they die and the thing still survives because, like, it could just go out in the cold. But like, if, if he so, if 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 the thing is not in either of them, then the thing's dead already. Well, the thing was, you know, the dog and all the things were represented, so it could be that was the everything, like all of it that was left. But I don't feel like that would be enough with the things we got shown. I think that the thing, the thing needs a host to live. Sure. And and without hosts, then so there's only two hosts left. Right. Uh, I'm assuming that that the doc we the big thing that happened at the end was p- the doc mixed with the the guy Everything he holds left. in his fit. Yeah, so that's dead because we um, threw a dynamite at it. Right. So I'm assuming that either the thing is dead or it's in Childs or Mac. Mm-hmm. So I do feel you think like, one of them had it? Well, I think that the problem is Mac says, "Why don't we just sit here and wait it out." Mm-hmm. Which is what somebody who has the host in them would say, because you yeah. would want to. You would and Child is so free. tired; he didn't do anything to test anything. Right, but if you so if you don't have it in you, uh, not to be, but you should off yourself. Like, right, you know. If, if, and as an audience member, we're watching, going, "I trust Kurt Russell because we just saw him take out the other thing." Right, but from a dialogue and, and ending standpoint, you know you're gonna die either way. Right. So if I didn't have it in me in that moment, I would 
burn the other person. Right. And then eliminate all options. And, yeah. Like get rid of variables. But they don't. And they're both there. Right. And we know they can't both be the thing or they would know that they were both the thing. And right. they they'd would just be fine and they'd so walk away. I do kind of feel like one of them is the thing. Do you think it like left like a piece of it was able to get into him? No, maybe. I think Childs, if anyone, because he just stumbles up like, hey, I was just looking for Blair. Yeah. And that seemed like a line. Like, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. But if it is in Childs, then Kurt, in 15 minutes, you're going to have to snap into it, Mac, and you're going to have to... See, I think Mac was just out. Like, he was just done. Like, I don't think he had anything left to fight. Like, I don't think he had any... He said that, but no, I think he's going to wake up. You think, you think take... the thing, too, is like... This very clearly set up so that there could be a sure. thing, too. And that was a big thing in the 80s. Yeah. I mean, there's serialized content now, but there's not a lot of sequels now. You know what I mean? Like, this felt like it could have a sequel... Not like a franchise. This is a, uh, I guess, I, I don't know this for a fact. I assume there is no thing to I don't right? think I've yeah. heard of a thing too. Or if it wasn't well loved, because this is beloved and yeah. I haven't heard of a thing too. Yeah. I mean, do you feel like they could do that today? <sighs> well, so I, one of the major strengths of this is the prosthetics and the practical. Yeah. But that was one of the only flaws I had was at the end when they see the full size of it. There was a moment it, I would have liked another 10 seconds before he blew it up. So I felt the sense of dread and tension because I felt like you're like it was like big reveal. And then all of a sudden it was like awesome line of dialogue, like 80s. And then it, then it was over. So there was all this escalation. And then the actual climax moment was so short. Mm -hmm. So I think that was because they could only show it so much because you'll notice once it was fully formed, they like hit a lot of it for budgetary purposes yeah, and just yeah. for like design because yeah. you want it like the fear of the thing is how amorphous and alien it is. So if you show too much, it's less scary. Mm -hmm. So I do feel like the only weakness in that last beat was that it was like all this building, building, and it explodes. Mm -hmm. Whereas I would have, I think modern audiences, there'd be a bit more of that like build to the, oh no, he's not going to make it. But I don't want to see this with CGI. Like this was, this would not work with a CGI villain. And do you think that today doing this with practicals would just make it too expensive to even make money? I don't think studios are willing to risk what this would take today. Because otherwise a lot, a lot of movies would be better. Because half the time you see bad CGI, it's like, well, they should have taken a chance and done practical. And they just don't. Mm. Like, I really worry about the fact that we're cutting corners on the movies that make a billion dollars. So why would a movie that maybe make my fi like $500 million? Yeah. Because yeah. if the big studios are cutting corners on CGI, there's no way they're going to invest in the human element. If they did do a thing today, I feel like they would have to almost like I, I don't feel like. Kurt Russell is in it and is like right. hears that there's something goes back. I feel like we'd still don't know what happened and then you just put together the pieces one of them got out and I think the only way to do it today is to do uh, the second act and later creature and do it a tiny budget film and make the first act all suspense and whodunity. You know what I can't stand about myself? That like the first thing I'm thinking about when this ends because of the ambiguity of it is like a sequel. Yeah. And it's like, wait, that movie was bomb. It was full circle. Like, it, right. it was enough. But then my 2023 brain is like, but what? See, next? my thought is that the ending being ambiguous is good because it doesn't have a sequel. So I have the same thought. Like, I wonder if there's a sequel. Glad there's not. I think. Yeah, no, I'm glad there's not too, but I will. But I wish there was. I'm glad there's not. But I wish there was. <laughs> See, I, I'm getting a little franchised out. Yeah, completely. You're. That's absolutely right. Like I when just, Cocaine Barrett and I was like, that was a cocaine bear. And like, I felt good about like, all right, that's a whole ass movie. It Whereas was, like, I'm very worried about the fact that I, I like your thought. You of, and like, I what's felt next different about cocaine bear. <gasps> Did you not like cocaine bear? Isn't that supposed to be made for me? And I was just like, okay. It's a movie about a bear on cocaine. I know, it wasn't bad. It and was, I loved that about it. It wasn't the thing though. It, it wasn't, was no, I mean, thing. it's not going to be like, we're not going to talk about cocaine bear in 40 years. So what do you think in terms of, did this hold, uh, like people talking about this? Oh, did, this was definitely the movie that I was promised. Okay. You? Yeah, I almost feel like I thought I wasn't going to like it as much. Uh, another, I haven't seen, what is it, The Fly? Is that the other I one either. people talk about? Jeff Goldblum? Guy? Yeah, he's The Fly, um, I think. And I, I don't know, in my head I think I like, confuse the two. Things. The thing of The Fly? <laughs> yeah. What are these article noun movies? I don't know, Cronenberg with his article nouns. I haven't seen a lot of these types of movies, so I kind of, they all blur together a little bit. Not not that The Fly is this type of movie. Just like I a think lot it is, of, it's like a creature feature. Yeah, it's something like that, yeah. but I, I haven't seen a lot of movies from the 80s, and I haven't seen a lot of horror movies from the 80s, so all I knew, I knew didn't know that this had anything to do with aliens, I didn't know that it was going to be Kurt Russell. I didn't know that it was going to be Antarctica, like a, mm. a desolate. Like I did, I didn't know anything about this. So I just had heard that a lot of my horror friends loved it. So I thought it would be really scary, yeah. and very nostalgic. So I was really pleasantly surprised that I think that this is just like a true great 
movie beginning middle end that, that didn't do the things that usually I care about which is like backstory and character mm. it just it, or plot development like it didn't do any of that and I still loved it which is interesting it to me was the thing that I think a lot of studios try to espouse which is like turn your brain off and enjoy it and it wasn't turn your brain off because it's dumb it was we don't need all that stuff you just described mm. but successfully like some people say theme park ride about like transformers and stuff and that doesn't feel good whereas this is a theme park ride that felt good like yeah, it, it was yeah. fulfilling as a ride the experience was fulfilling yeah i really i really f with that movie yeah i love that <laughs> like, i thought that this was, was spectacular that was really good i also think that it was nostalgic in that i recognized some of the influences but it didn't feel like i was worried about where like when i watched the godfather i'd already seen men in tights a hundred times so i felt like i'd already seen like the comedy version so by the time i watched the godfather i was like okay so did you know it was the godfather? i liked it but i didn't feel that like yeah, profound yeah. sense of like cinema i was like oh Totally. That was a movie. Totally. Whereas this, I could see how it influenced things, but I didn't feel like I'd already seen it. Yeah. Wow. This is really good. Yeah. Dug this. And also I can see where Cronenberg influenced a lot of filmmakers. I can see like the Cronenbergian uh, use of special effects, which is referenced. I know uh, Fantastic Four, a lot of people tried to make a Cronenberg body horror thing multiple times. It didn't work. But like, I, I definitely feel the impact of this movie without, and also the gifts and things. I've seen like memes of it, but it didn't ruin the experience. I knew Kurt Russell was in it only because of memes, but it didn't make me it didn't change anything. Yeah, and also just not with horror, but with mystery also. Yeah. It's definitely, yeah, I think we were in the middle of it and you were like knives out moment or yeah, something. Yeah, Agatha like, Christie. Yeah, All yeah. of a sudden I was like, they're they're going to have that thing where they're trying to figure out who's the, the bad one on the plane, train, or automobile. Yeah, and you can see it the second that we start questioning in the car, like, wait, he's been there, what's happening here? And you start thinking, oh my God, some of them have it. And I love that this is probably going to be fun for people to watch because we hadn't seen it and they have, like, a lot of people probably grew up watching this and they would be like, what, what a, silly thing for adults to not know and so that's going to be joyous to see them think we know what's going on we never did did you in the last two hours come up with the name of somebody from boston that is a uh, woman, a woman? <laughs> um i can't say i did did you uh no. that's how i was in the movie yeah. I was I was so enthralled in the film it, at one point halfway through i was like "Ooh, sarah silverman and then i was like oh no no it's because she's a jew not because she's from boston <laughs> You're like, okay, let me process <laughs> well, women me. in yeah. filmmaking. Wait, wrong category. What have I done? Uh, yeah, so we don't know if that's going to stay in the cut, but uh, at one point, uh, Roxy and I were just trying to name people from Boston. Only dudes came to mind, but there are women in Boston. There are. And they many talented, I successful was, ones. I was one of them. I, uh, well, you're out here. You know what? You're the first woman from Boston. Yeah. You did it. JoJo went to Northeastern. I don't think she's from Boston, though. That's the thing. It's so tricky. That's we're gonna we're thing. gonna solve this mystery. That's the thing. Uh, people in the comments, leave your favorite woman from Boston. Let us know who you enjoy from that world. That has nothing to do with the thing, but we're curious. Uh, this was awesome. I had so much fun. This actually lived up to very lofty expectations. If there are any other Cronenberg films, eighties films, thrillers, anything you think we might not have seen, because that's a, a definitely a void in my film yeah, knowledge. Blind spot for me. Like too. I don't have maybe that. the fly. I'd love to watch The Fly. If you enjoyed this, uh, like, share, subscribe. That way we know that you did. That'll inform us to maybe watch The Fly. Let us know in the comments what you want us to check out next. Thank you for being a reject. We appreciate y'all very much. We will see you next time for more Koi and Roxy. Don't watch movies from before they were born, but should here on Real Rejects. Real Rejects.